Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. Today I have three methods on how you can sew seams in your knitting. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We are definitely sewing seams today and I have three methods for you, not just the one. There are some that I use more often than others and definitely one that I use above all others pretty much in everything that I knit. But if you're knitting something and the seam won't be agitated very much, if you're not going to wash the item a great deal, then there are other options out there and I will definitely grab hold of those and use them instead if I can because they can be a bit faster and a bit easier to sew up. Definitely come with me all the way through this demo. You will also be seeing sneak peeks of the lavender bags that I've been knitting because I'm going to be using three of those to show you the seams. Let's get to it. Let's sew some seams. So we're going to seam these in three ways. This one in the middle we're going to do with the right side out. And these two here we're going to do with the wrong side out. So right sides together. I like to do these two first. So this one, um, what I'm going to suggest is a really simple slip stitch. This can be done so quickly. So what we've, I've just done there is basically join the two corners together with a slip stitch. Now we're going to put these two sides together. And all I'm going to do is put my needle through one side and then the other side. And then as I go down, I'll do exactly the same thing. One side and then the other side. What I'm trying to do is just go down one row at a time rather than have an uneven join but this isn't haute couture um, and it will do its job. If you're not that confident with sewing it and you'd rather focus on your knitting this is an ideal solution for you. So that's the slip stitch slip stitch seam simple easy we're getting to the rows uh, the stripes at the same time on both sides there you go just go to the pink again so we're going from one side to the other now what I'm going to do is pick up one of these colors and continue the seam with that it's not going to matter at all that pink wasn't quite long enough to go all the way down There we are, and I'll just carry on. And then I'll come back and secure the pink thread once I've done the seam completely. There we are. So from the other side, the outside, you don't really see it very much. It's quite happy um, and yeah that is like I said that's ideal if you're not that confident in your sewing and you just want to focus on your knitting there you go that will do the job so this is the next way to seam it could well take a bit longer but not that much and what we're going to do here is again I'm going to just put this needle through the other top corner so that we're aligned we're all in the same place and this is where we start. Now, if you've ever done any sewing, you may have heard of backstitch. Backstitch is where you um, just increase on the security of running stitch. Running stitch is in, out, in, out, in, out. Um, but backstitch is in and then back up through the same hole as you started in. So back up there. And then you can go one bit further down. So you're doing the equivalent of what looks like two stitches. So we're going much further down. And then we're going halfway between that stitch. And then we're going further down. And then coming up here. And then like one inch down or two centimetres down and one centimetre 
back up again. Two centimetres down. And then you're returning one centimetre, so it's like in the middle of the last stitch. It's just going to be a more bulky seam. You will see more of it. Um, not that you will see the thread as much, but it will um, be more lumpy from the other side. But if this is what you're comfortable with, then go for it. There's no reason why you can't use this. You are. Up. Okay, I'm going to carry on all the way down here. You can see it more easily as I go through the pink. There we go. Down a bit further and back up halfway back to where I started. Down a bit further and back up actually to the end of that last stitch, previous stitch there. Down a bit further and back up to the end of that previous stitch. There we go. So that is the end of that one. Let me just turn it inside out and show you. There you are. You can feel that's quite a bit of weight to it in comparison to this one, which is actually quite smooth. Um, but they're all, they all have their place and that's quite easy. No one's going to notice that. What we're doing here is creating a little bag for lavender. And there you go. That's the lavender in there. There's enough bulk to the lavender already. So that seam doesn't matter at all. And we just tie that together at the top. So yeah, there's bulk in the seam because of what's inside it. So that is a fine, fine seam for that kind of knit. There you go. Um, we're going to do a third seam now. And that is going to be what we call the mattress stitch or the invisible seam. This one you may have seen me do before. This is the one I teach you in a lot of my courses, if you've done any of my courses with me. Um, and this is where we look at the stitches a lot more closely. And you could actually use a different colored thread for the mattress stitch and you wouldn't actually see it because that's what it's called. It's the invisible stitch. Now, what we're going to do here is just pick up that little piece of thread that sits between the stitches there. Can see that there I'm putting my needle just behind that piece of thread that is sitting between the stitches we're going to pick that up and then we're going to find the exact opposite part of the stitch on the other side of the row there right at the top here it's a bit difficult because we've got the cast on edge but there we go and we're just going to carry on doing that all the way down put the stitch the needle in between the stitches in between the rows in between the stitches that are sitting on each row and you'll see that little piece of thread joining the stitches together there you are one row at a time we're going to just move down the seam this is invisible so like i said you could use any color you like this is where I have to hold it differently. I have to just kind of roll that seam open so I can see where I am. There we are. And that needle quite easily just picks that part of the stitch up. So there you go, that's the invisible seam. And guess what, you can hardly see it. <laughs> and yeah, you could definitely have done that with a different color and it would still wouldn't be seen. The stripes there um, just seem to go into each other quite happily. And um, it's 
a little bit bulky but not really at all and like I said before when you put the lavender in there that's quite happy sat there like that there we go so that is the three different seams we had the slip stitch just one at a time one stitch at a time this was the back stitch and then we had the invisible or the mattress stitch there you go so that is seaming in three different ways and these are the lavender bags okay you now have three methods in your toolbox you can sew up seams in three different ways those lavender bags are in the new home collection and they are being released pretty soon i do hope you'll be here for that do make sure you're on the email list i'll leave a link below so you can go and do that there's always a link on my website if you scroll to the bottom of pretty much any page on my website you'll see an email link to go and sign up it will mean that you'll be there whenever there's um, new items appearing new courses being released or anything like that and indeed like now the new home collection in the knitting kit shop now, they will be available in kits and in patterns if you're not in our delivery areas or if you've got so much stash you're thinking i've got enough to knit those up anyway then you can get a digital pattern and you don't need to wait for it to arrive in the post it's there immediately so do sign up if you want to be notified when they are ready i will certainly be letting you know here on youtube but anything that we do um, is also sent out in an email so you'll be the first to know if you're on the email list i'll be back with another video next week as i am every tuesday do subscribe and click on the bell for notifications if you click on the bell for notifications youtube will let you know whenever there's a new video i release new videos every tuesday every week here on the knit with hannah channel i'll see you again soon bye for now happy knitting <laughs>